So the, the three principles of quantum theory that have been my intellectual mm. um, sort of organizing framework, the first is potential. That this illusion, of, you know, the mechanical age gave us this illusion of everything is fixed and immutable, you know, fixed and immutable particles. And that's the way people are seen. Women are the second sex. Peasants are poor because they're stupid, not because they're being exploited. Native seeds are primitive. So there was an essentializing quality in this mechanistic framework. And quantum theory basically says everything's potential. And the potential is created by the interaction of the context. In the case of, of quantum theory, it's really the context is a measurement. You measure it like a particle, you get the particle. You measure it like a wave, you're going to get a wave. Yeah? It's not built into a thing or it's not a wave or a particle, but it is in the context, it expresses itself, it has the potential to be both. And because it can be a wave or a particle, there's uncertainty about what it will become. So potential creates uncertainty. And that's why this false idea of determinism and certainty, which comes from an external input engineering machine, is not the way the world really runs. And the core of my PhD thesis was non-separation. Mm. Because in a mechanical world, everything's separate. You know, your, the camera is separate from that notebook, etc. But in a quantum world, where everything is energy and everything's potential. It's all interacting all the time and you cannot separate. Yeah. You try to separate, you can't separate. But the same principles were in their work. The forest was treated as separate from the river. They said it is connected. And if only all these people talking Jal Shakti and floods and all would just turn to the 70s messages of the Chikko movement, they can solve all the flooding. And they can solve all the drought. <laughs>